Greetings, my name is Ben, aka Downsize It, and I am here at Gear Gaming Bentonville with Robbie. And today I'm going to be featuring a subscriber submitted list. Uh, that's what you see on the left there, the Repub the uh, Re Rebellion Fleet, I should say. It was submitted by Maxwell Silver, so thank you, Maxwell, for submitting that. And he calls this the Fire Ship Fleet, based off of the English ships that were used to help defeat the Spanish Armada. And uh, spoilers, it, the Starhawk is the fire ship, and that is one, one that's quite the fire ship, I have to say. And Robbie is going for an MSU style with the Separatists with four hard cells. And I've seen bat reps online where you have a swarm of hard cells and all of those red dice coming out the front. That can be quite devastating. So we're both. We both are light on squads, kind of average. And this should be interesting. I'm gonna try my best to run this fleet well. I've never run a fleet quite like this. It's a little bit different than what I'm used to. And as Robbie continues to experiment with M with uh, multiple small ships, although I would say hard cells are pretty tough. They're not the easiest thing to drop down. I don't know if I'd call them small. So coming up, I'll go over the fleets and the mission. And then after that, we will have deployment along with the pre-game interview. For the Rebels and Maxwell Silver's fleet, we have Kirsta Agate on an MC-80 assault cruiser with the Defiance title, advanced projectors, reactive gunnery, and linked turbolaser towers. We have a Starhawk Battleship Mark I with Walex Blissix, Kate Ken and Sholin, and linked Turbolaser Towers. And the standard GR-75 Transport with Torrenfar, Bright Hope, and Comsnet. Hard to beat that. For squadrons, we have Shara Bay and three A-Wing squadrons. And for the Separatists, we have Kraken on a Munificent Comms Frigate with Wat Tambor, Auxiliary Shields Team, Flag Bridge and Intensify Firepower, a Hard Cell Transport with Munitions Resupply, and three Hard Cell Battle Refits all fitted out with Veteran Captain and Quad Turbolaser Cannons. For Separatist Squadrons, we have five Vulture Droid Fighters. For Missions, Maxwell's list came well in under points. And so I chose to be second. And Robbie had to pick between Ion Storm, Asteroid Tactics, and Infested Fields. And Robbie chose Infested Fields. And this uh, uh, mission has the two Exegors in it. And each object or uh, each obstacle has an objective token on it. And the objective tokens are worth 15 points. And this is a unique mission where ships or squadrons can pick up the objective tokens. And the Exegorus will be making attacks on squadrons at the start of the squadron phase. And as second player, I will be able to move the Exegorus once they make their attacks. And also unique to this mission, the obstacles that the objectives are attached to, I also get to move those obstacles distance 1 to 2. So the obstacles will be drifting and moving throughout the battle. Coming up next, we will have deployment along with the pre-game interview. Alrighty, so fleets are deployed, or, and as you guys are watching, you're seeing the um, setup and deployment starting. And so Robbie, go ahead and tell me about your fleet here, thoughts behind it, and thoughts be behind your setup. Uh, made a big gun line out of the hard cells. So the battle refits, you have three red dice coming out the front. So facing forward, you have nine red dice coming out the front. And I put quad turbo laser cannons on it, so if I roll an accuracy, I'll get another accuracy. And uh, automatically added to the pool. And so what it's going to do is have, a, uh, have the uh, concentrate bar tokens ready be able to re-roll that get an extra dice uh, out of that and also have Kraken so when the as the ships get closer if I roll that accuracy 
Kraken can uh, move the dice to the face with a different icon. And so it's basically just beefing up. I know I probably should have put spinal arm that's just trying something different. On the support, I have munitions resupply. So I can get out all of those uh, concentrate fire tokens. And I have intensified firepower so that, uh, you know, if I get that extra accuracy, I can flip it to a damage if I wish. So it's basically just one giant. Uh, I call it kind of a fleet carrier group because you have <clears throat> kind of the, the brain here, the munificent, sending out commands and doing what it needs to do. And then kind of the outward protectors who are going to be moving forward and just putting some salvos forward. And I put just enough fighters on here just to basically keep everybody, uh, keep everything away and use the if I have to, the flap from the combat hard cells can also help contribute to getting rid of fighters. So, all in all, it's just, uh, you know, I just didn't want to run um, uh, squadrons. And I just wanted to see what a, uh, a giant gun one will do, and we'll see. Well, this uh, fleet was, again, was submitted by Maxwell Silver. And his thoughts behind it were, was to use the Starhawk as like a fire ship and just run it up into the face of the opponent and let it just take the beating and it throws out the beating as well and it's cheap it's a bare bones star hawk only three upgrades on it and then the defiance that has cursed on it i added an extra brace and she is going to be used for cleanup duty you know kind of stay a little bit further back and a little bit more slow rolling and as far as the A-Wings and Shara, just used for harassment. Um, right now I have them spread out because my intent is to try to go out and grab as many objective tokens as possible early so I don't have to worry about it. The, because uh, the mission says that squadrons, uh, ships and squadrons can pick up these objective tokens. And we're playing with Exegors again. This is a different than Asteroid Tactics, but they're still Exegors. It's very similar to how they play with Asteroid Tactics. And to see if I can't use them just to frustrate your movements, to get in your way, and maybe chomp down on some vulture droids, etc. And we'll see how long the Starhawk survives. It's uh, it's still a Starhawk, so it's one of those, I'm not going to play cage with it. I mean, I'm going to just run it right up into the face of Robbie and see if he can bring it down and see how many I can take with him. And treat it like a fire ship. I want to run it like um, Maxwell had uh, envisioned running it, so we'll see how that plays out. Alright, so uh, another quick thing, I am getting two pass tokens because uh, I am outnumbered 5-3 to three and I am second player. So we are now going to go over playing our dials and then we'll be back at the start of round one. Okay, here we are at the start of round one. And as you all see my I'm using these as my pass tokens because I don't have enough. And as uh, you guys see my cards, these are done at shields. These are proxying, as you saw in the fleet building, for reactive gunnery. Because I don't own that card yet, so just proxying that card. My entire fleet is starting at speed 2, and I believe Robbie's is also starting at speed 2. If that, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. So all ships so far starting at speed 2. Uh, we have the navigate. Gonna use that. It's this one here, it's the transport yeah. variant. I'm actually gonna token that. <clears throat> Put that on the card. Two. Okay, I am starting with Bright Hope, and it is a squadron command. I'm gonna use that to immediately send these two alien squads to go grab valuable resources or whatever it is that we're needing on these asteroids. Granted, that will allow them to be attacked by the x -Gorths. But, they won't die from it. Or at least I hope they won't. That, that quick scouting mission. Go out and quickly snatch these up. And then, right over moving at speed 2. And we're just going to start turning. Going back towards the fleet.
Okay, so hard cell number two. Navigate. <clears throat> I'm going to speed up to speed three. We're going to go with the Defiance with Kirsta. Then I'm going to navigate. I'm going to slow down to one. Change my mind at how fast I wanted it to be going. We're just going straight. So number three, navigate. <clears throat> I'm taking the token, I'm guessing. No, I'm using. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take the. Because you're already at two. Unless you want to speed up. I already clicked it. Down. No, it's fine. It, I think you might have thought you were at speed one or something. Yeah, so, yeah so. If, if you want to change your speed, feel free. That's fine. Starhawk Battleship. It is an engineering, and I'm taking a token. I'm moving forward at speed two. I'm just staying straight for now. All right, who we got next? Uh, the Kraken ship. Engineering. Use the poor engineering. To bring up shields to four. Oh, do you want me to? Are you filming? Yep, you're good. All right, so yep. we'll bring up a little beef here. Take a few more hits. We're going to speed two. Always well, good to do that auxiliary shields team turn one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Close formation fly in there. Sure, there's a last hard there. cell. This is one. Navigate. Go up to speed three. All right, so next is a squad phase. It's just going to be a bunch of movement, with the exception that these exogors are going to be able to take some bites out of these A wings. So I'll roll those attacks real quick, and then the rest of the movement um, will be done off screen and do a recap at the so start. The A wing on your left being attacked. Wow, for three. Okay, <laughs> back to one health. And then on the right for nothing. So one A-wing pilot was lucky, saw it coming, the other was very unlucky. Okay, start of round two. This A-wing pilot and Shara both moved forward during the squadron phase to grab those respective objective tokens. And these are the new placements of the Exogorths. And then, one thing I forgot to do, but I just remembered, is that uh, both um, places where Exogorths used to be moved distance 1 to 2. So, there's going to be actually a lot of obstacle movement happening in this game, based on where the Exogorths are. Alright, so coming up next, it looks like we will be having some engagements potentially happening this round. Oh, is that one? Yeah, that's the uh, support one. You can get almost everybody. It's five. I can't get him. Yeah, you'll be able to get uh, the central cluster of hard so. Okay. And so um. So the munitions. Yeah. I'm gonna pass out three tokens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So one will go to number two. One will go to number three. One will go to the percent. And um, I have the squadron command. Do I have to do it? Should have done it first. So three. That's right. I think it's when you reveal the command, that's when the, the munitions go out. Maybe that's when it happens. Is that it? So you can grab those two vultures there. Yeah. So. so you are squad value two with the, yeah, with the support. Where are these guys? Up here. Speed two, so we're gonna move 
Yep, mm -hmm. yep, you can do those inside turns with small base ships, as long as you don't cross the tool. So. Okay. And I'm actually going to spend one of my pass tokens now. Hit number two activating. Uh, and that's happening because I'm going to spend one of my pass tokens. So, I get... Go down to speed two. Okay, drop to speed two. Okay, I'm going to activate Defiance. This is another navigate. Now I'll be taking a long range shot, front to front, into this hard cell number two. And since this hard cell is already activated with Defiance, I get to add a uh, dice of any color to the attack. I don't believe I have. Well, let me see if I got range shot. I might be able to do a side arc shot. I do. So I'm also going to be doing a side arc shot obstructed side to front into that hard cell. And actually, now that I think about it, I think I actually want to, because I have you double arced, yeah, I'm going to take both shots that way. Because the front shot is clear, yellow dot to yellow dot, and then obstructed side to front. And I'll be getting the defiance benefit right, we'll on the front shot, which is two red, and this is a clear one. And then I get to add a dice of any color, so we'll go ahead and add a black. And I'll actually see your evade, and that'll be a double and a hit, so three damage on the front. I'll break down two. Okay. And then move over one. And take one on the front. So take one on the side and take one on the front. Yep. Alright, so one on the starboard, one on the front. Now for the side shot, which is obstructed, which I get four red. It's obstructed, so down to three red, and then add a dice of any color, which I'll add a black. Now well, that was a really bad roll. You have any mass reroll potential? I don't, so we do have link turbulence tiles to reroll one of these blanks. Blank reds. Oh, just one crit. And cancel. Yeah, using my nav to speed up to speed two. I'm getting an extra click at the one. I'm going to land on this debris field to pick up the last objective token. And I'll take the two damage on my force shields. Landing on the debris field. And all objective tokens have now been. Number three there on the left. Navigate. So first, take, uh, we'll take shot with number three into the defiance. Yep, let's see, that's going to be a, that's going to be a medium range shot, so front to side, front to side, three reds. Kraken. Uh, yep, Kraken lets you just swap it, right? Yep, you're definitely... So you can do it so you can change it to a face with any one icon and no other. So. Once per activation, so that's once. It's my activation while a friendly ship is attacking a ship. Okay, so that's satisfied. If another friendly ship is satisfied, is at close to medium range of the defender, the attacker may change one die to a face with any one icon. One icon. Yeah, that makes sense because it wouldn't be doubles because, so it has to be one. Yeah, so you can pick like a crit or an accuracy or a single hit. Um, it doesn't matter if it's a crit. Okay, so I've got three damage coming in. So I am going to spend this redirect and use my advanced projectors, and I'm just going to disperse those around my shields. Then I'm going to spend this brace and use my reactive gunnery to treat that as a salvo, and I'm going to salvo back onto this hard cell. So I've got it is medium range, right? Two red and a blue. That's right. Two red and a blue. And Link Turbo Laser Towers. Alright, so, and I will actually see your... Um, this is medium range. I'll actually see your evade. Good. So, two hits coming in. So, I will brace to one. Brace to one. And then move it over. And do a redirect? Okay. So, Robbie redirected over to his port side, and I'm actually using advanced projectors to put one on the back, one on my port side, and one on my front. 
Probably my favorite defensive upgrade is advanced projectors. All right, and we got movement. It's moving at speed two. Use my dial or speed. I'm gonna I'm gonna slow down. Oh, slow down. Yep. Uh. Yeah, that's legal. Leave uh, close. I have it on the inside. Oh. Yeah, inside would have worked too, because you know you're not gonna cross the tool. Small ships you can do those inside turns, but yeah, that's still a legal move. Defiance being swarmed by hard cells. And Bright Hope it is going to be a squadron command. And I'm basically just sending these A-wings back to regroup with the fleet. Um, especially this one. She's on health, just moving them back here just to prep for future later turns. And then, still moving at speed dos. And inside turns, I am going to do one right now. Like so. Okay, hard cell number one. This one? Yes. Uh, navigate. You want speed three. You do have a shot. So, let me take my three reds. Got a long range shot into my side. Alrighty, so we've got front to side, long range. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna, I guess I'm not gonna. Wait a minute. Would quad turrets work if I switched this to an accuracy and added another dice? Yeah, there's both, they're both say while attacking. And so this is over? during the modify step, so you can change that to an accuracy and gain a red accuracy. Mm -mm -mm. So you get two accuracies. Now, okay, so that's going to be four. I will brace to two. And I don't think there's anything else. You have an obstructed shot, but it's not going to be too bad. And I will redirect and disperse it around the shields. So let's do damage. I'm speed three, and yep, and where I'm taking the shields, I'm taking one on the back and one on the front. Let's see, how many, um, I'm going to be three, and I'm still going to have it, is that locked? Yeah. Okay, I've got my Starhawk, it is a Navigate, and I will be doing a front to side on number one there, long range. I do have a long range side to side into number two, but it's obstructed. I don't have one red dice. I'm not even going to bother rolling that because it's the end of the round. So we will be doing the front to side unobstructed long range. All right, four reds. Uh, I like that. I don't think I want to do any rerolls, so we'll stop your evade and four damage. Brace to two and redirect. Okay. Now it's to side. To the side. <clears throat> Take the shield down. So dropping the aft shields? Yeah, or the back shield. Or, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can redirect multiple to the front. But uh, you can only back. choose one hole zone to redirect. Re re so. I'm going to do all to the back. Okay, so aft shields go down. Currently moving speed two. I think I want to stay at speed two. But I am going to be going ahead and Doing a little jank here, I think I'm gonna do an extra click somewhere. Yeah, we're getting an extra click at the one, do a really nifty side step here, like so. Alright, then we in squadron phase, and I. Oh, Alright, I forgot, I keep always like to skip. <laughs> Nipson! Yeah, Nipson. Should be three. Yep. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Three, four, three, there. How far do you, is it? One within the exit door? One to two. <clears throat> no, it is one. Distance one is where they'll attack. Uh, 
Coming into the starboard side of the fights. I will use Kraken and turn that into just a regular hit. Okay, I'll just take it on the shield. So, shield goes down to three there, and then you have a side to front into the Starhawk. You grab me. That's tough. Okay. All right, and this is long range, side to front into the Starhawk. Um, Kraken, is that medium? I know, this is long. Oh, but I mean, I thought the ship had to be in oh, medium. Oh, the, oh, yeah, for a Kraken ability. Let's see. It's the, whatever. It is, yep, you do need Kraken ability. Uh, so let's be another regular hit. Or it doesn't matter, just a crit. All right, so. Three hits, I will, that's all the attacks, so I'll just go ahead and brace two, redirect to my starboard side, and then I will salvo back. Two reds, and then I will link to Relation Towers for hit crit into Kraken. And you have the brace, redirect, and salvo. These are his here. Brace and redirect. Brace and redirect. So brace to one and redirect. Was that at the side you said, or the front? Yeah, it's an exact, it's an exact return fire. Okay, so um, I'll redirect that to the back for one, and then take one on the side. Is that right? Yeah. No, you're only taking one because okay, you're so bracing. Okay. Yeah. You only have to take one damage. Okay. And then I'll salvo that. No, you can't salvo, salvo. Okay. <clears throat> well, you're going speed two. Right. So plan how you want to do your angle, but like just get the speed one, and that's where you're going to be, because that's just where you're going to land. Just an easier place way to place the tool. Uh, yeah. Let's see. All right. So well, let's only leave that there. All right. You just need to figure out now who you would have actually hit first. So. It actually would have hit him. So the Munificent and number three take a face down damage. And now we go to the squadron phase. Um, I just have a couple movements. I'll just do it real quick here. Um, yeah, number three is when that got hit. So this A wing. So start of the squadron phase. Um, I'll do that here in a second. But Shara's going to attack. I, I miscalculated. I thought I had a squad command planned near Shara. That's why I put her over there. But nope, she's gonna get chomped on. Hopefully she can scatter it. So let's do that. Let's do that right here. There is an accuracy stopping my scatter, but I will brace down to one. So Shara takes one damage. And then that Exogorth will go. And this Exogorth is going. Um, and Shara is also just gonna slide on back here. Just kind of staging with these A wings, as you can see. And I'll just do this on screen because now I need to move these obstacles that the Exegorts were on. So I'm actually going to move this obstacle. Slide that right up into there. And this one is going to slide right up over to here. Alright, so that's it for round two. And we'll be back at the start of round three. Start of round three, and boy, are we in it now. Hard cells are swarming all over Cursed to Agate on the Defiance. Meanwhile, while Widlix Blissix on the Starhawk is charging forward, ready to bring this heavy firepower to bear. Robbie has activated Intensify Firepower. It is a one shot because it was with Flagbridge, but this is going to be. Definitely the turn to use it. Can I weather the storm of all this firepower coming in? 
engineering for the three engineering points. Get the three. damage. Yep. Okay. We'll take a front. Am I front? Do I have your front to sub? Or um, you do. You have it in arc, so you have it line of sight. You do, so you could do double arc, front to side. Oh, I forgot to drop out the shield by one. Jesus, let's get three. So front to side and side to side, you have a shot there. Okay, so we'll do, do that. front to side, side to side. All right, front to side, side to side. Into All right, which one do you want to do first? Front to side. So front to side, and just you guys have a summary, I have three shields on my starboard, one on my rear, two on my front, and one on my port. So you guys know where all my shields are at. You get an add an accuracy. Yep. And so then you can crack in. Crack in that the crit. Well, you might want to crack in a blank. You oh. don't have any rerolls, right? Uh, I've got. Um, oh, you have a token. Well, yeah. I would do that first before you start manipulating dice. Okay. So go and do your reroll first, because you might need to do crack in and intensify. What am I rerolling for? Well, you have a token. Oh, okay. So, so reroll one. Reroll one. Yep. Okay, so blank. So you have two blanks. You want to crack in the blank and then intensify the blank okay, and so keep the two accuracies. So crack in the blank. Yep. Send that to a crit if you want. Crit. Yep. And then intensify has to go to a hit. So you do the other blank to a hit. So that's a good combo with intensify and crack, and you can do two dice manipulations. And what do you want to lock down? Uh, I'll lock down both your or, yeah, both your braces. So no braces. So I will redirect. And I'll be doing one on my starboard, one on my front. And I'm going to spend my contain to salvo using reactive gunnery. So and that was onto the front. So side to front. And I will stop your re. No, I'll stop your brace. Uh, okay, so that's uh, what? Three, two damage? Two damage, and you have an evade and a redirect. Um, I'll use the evade. All right, so what do you want me to reroll? Uh, the, uh... Hmm. Yeah, this is stopping the, the, uh, race. I guess the, um... Stop the race, and you're using the evade to have me reroll something. Which, the, the red? Reroll the red. Okay, that is worthless, so just one damage coming in the front. And got some. Take it on the shield. Okay, and then you have your side shot into my side, which is one red. And just you guys know, if you haven't used reactive gunner before, I can only, it's, it taps after you use it, so I only can use it once per uh, round. One red, and I've already used my token. Yes. Okay, one red. And then cracking it, it, or intensify it's either way. Okay, and I'll just take it on the shield. So my starboard shields are down to one, and my front shields are also down to... All right, shields are at one all around on the Defiance, and now for movement for number three, he's going to speed two. Here, I'll put on the other side, see if I can... Uh, if you're trying to, I'm assuming you're trying not to ram. Yeah. Um, the only way I think you can do it without ram is you need to do like a little sidestep. So you need to do a little, so I can a little, a little jank you. like that. That'll prevent you from ramming, but you will lean on the debris field. Yeah, I'll get that for you. There's going to be the debris field, so where do you want to take the two damage? Uh, we'll take it as front. Alright, so front goes down. Probably didn't want to take it on the rear, because you're probably about to get shot there. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, well, I'm going to be shooting you, so hopefully you're not there, because I don't want you in my way. Um, I am activating defi uh, Defiance. It is a squadron command. I'm in range to grab all three of these squads. They will be activating. So I am going to send. Um, I think I'm going to send them up here. Start throwing shots into the side of number one. Now we're going to throw them to the side of number two because that's the one I'm going to be shooting. I'm going to be doing two side shots a side to side and then a side front, like so, and before those happen, we'll be doing some, they're not technically bomber shots, because what, A-wings aren't bombers, but they do get to throw black dice, which is pretty nice, so, 
So they might get chomped on by the escort, but that's okay. That's okay. Alright, so we'll do those attacks first, and then I'll do my side attack um, from here into number three first, just in case I don't kill it, because I might want to do them front to side, just in case I don't kill number three. And that will be obstructed. And then I'll be doing, depending on how things go, a potential side to front into number two. Okay, first the squad attacks into the left side, port side of number two. Anyway, for one hit. Taking on the shield. Now this can be on number two. And you can move and you can move the uh, ruler because I already took the picture. And it's into the side. Wait, did I accidentally move it? Oh, no. Okay. Alright. And then Shara, also four damage. Um redirect. Okay, redirect. The back. The back. And then the other A-Wing for a hit. Um, Alright, so one face down. Oh, I had one shield left. Wait. Do they start with two shields? No, no, no. No, you're at. Yep. Oh, it was already down. Yep. yep. Alright, and now for shots side to side obstructed into number three. I'm going to get four red and two blue and then it's obstructed so I have to take one of these away. I'll take away a blue and then with defiance I will add in a black. Because three already activated. That's really good actually. Yeah I don't think you don't have any shields on that side right? Do you have any shields on the back? Yep. Alright, so we will stop your brace redirect. And right now we are sitting at 5 damage. <clears throat> okay, and since you're burning it, I'm a larger ship, you can make me reroll another one if you want. Um, reroll the red. <clears throat> Alright, both reds being rerolled. 4 damage, you're still alive. One health. I think you know. I think I am okay with just taking some hits because um, I can just ram you and kill you now. Wait, which one is this? So the number three. Yep. Yep. The one you just healed. So now I'm attacking. So this is three's defense tokens, and now I'm attacking number two. Yep, that was number two's defense tokens, and it needs to take a face-up damage. Prove your opponent may either reduce your speed to one or choose a new command on your top dial. So there's no command there anymore, so you want to reduce my speed to one or buy one. What is your speed? Two. Two. Yeah, it's not really going to matter. Well, he hasn't gone yet. Mm -mm. So I am going to change your. You may either reduce speed to one or choose a new. Yeah, I want to change your command. What's the command on number two? Oh, uh, it's by far far. Uh, I'm going to change that to a navigate. I'm going to do this little side jank maneuver here to guarantee that I ram you. So we both take a face down damage. The three goes down. But unfortunately, I'm still in the same spot and I actually land on this again. So that's actually interesting. So I'm going to take a damage on the shield and take another face down. One thing about that, maybe that wasn't a smart play. We'll see. We'll see if that was a bad decision on my part. Keep hitting you. Yep. Navigate on number two. Um, you do have that front shot, and you might have a side shot. No. I'm going to go to flacking. Oh, you're going to do flacking? Oh, I'm going to shoot then flack out the side. Okay. Saying you have the double arc, we could do a side to front, or side to side there if you wanted to. But. Oh, I, I could do a side to side shot? Yeah, because this arc is barely touching my side arc, and then yellow dot to yellow dot. Crossing your lines doesn't matter, so... If you wanted to, you could do a side to side as well as a front to side. Unobstructed? Unobstructed. Of course, flacking is not bad either. I'll go ahead and you take that, yeah. Alright, so front to side. Um, 
I have a token on two. Yep, so if you want to go ahead and do a re-roll on that blank, re -roll. you can get. That's a hit. Um, so it's cracking if I flip this over. Yeah, so this is what you want to do. So you would crack in this to an accuracy, gain a red, okay. and then intensify one of these to a hit. Well, no, you don't roll it. You just turn it to a hit okay. with intensify. Okay. There you go. So now what do you, what would you like to accuracy? Um... Doesn't manage your brace, you can have another one. You know, there's really nothing. I'll stop. How many shields do you have? Only one. I have one shield on the side and one shield on my front and back. You're just gonna redirect. Hmm. Um which one would you stop? I'd stop my green redirect. Okay, I'll stop the redirect green yeah. redirect. It's because if I want to redirect now, I need yeah. to burn it. Which I am gonna do. I'm gonna spend this brace to brace to two. Burn this redirect to take it on my, um, take it on the shield I just took the hit on and my uh, front shield. So my front shields and side shields are down. I only have shields left on my. Oh yeah, and then uh, you want to do a single shot or you want to do flacking? You can do a single red to the side, or you can flat at my at Shara and my two A wings. One A wing is on one health, so you almost guaranteed to kill one. Yeah, I'm going to flack. Okay, which one do you want to hit first? I get a blue and a black. Blue and a black. Uh, one attack on health. Yep. So right. one damage. That's dead. Alright, and then Shara. One. Um, assuming stop her scatter. Yep. Yep, so she's down to two health. And then fresh A Wing. One. Down to three. Was it? Yep, we're gonna ram. Although you can speed up to speed three and clear me if you don't want to ram. I don't have navigate. You do, because I gave you a navigate. Oh, uh, did you? Yeah, that's the dial I put it on. Oh, yeah, so, so you can jump over me with speed three. I think uh, you need to do some sort of turn. So it, it, it might not be possible, but I think it, you could possibly get around. Where's your movement profile there? It's a uh, one click, and then three is just the end of it, just straight. But then I just click. So if you get a click with the dial there, there's another. If you do full clicks, that might clear, not ram. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that's clear. You cleared it. Well, we are definitely throwing down right now. <laughs> <laughs> so going with the Starhawk, it is a concentrate fire. I. We're going to be doing a side to side, and it's number two, and I'll be doing a front to side, and it's number one. These are both going to be medium range shots. Alright, attacking number two first. Two red, two blue. Uh, this is actually not bad so far. All right, so we will kick in and I want to kick in this one. So you only have three health left, right? Yeah. Uh, on number which one? Number two. One? Yeah. Number two. Yeah. Uh, yeah, three health. Three health. One shield on the back. Hmm. It almost is just I just have to roll dice. So I want to save this for. I should have hasn't activated. So I'm going to save kick in. I'm going to do winter release towers. All right, so I'm gonna stop your brace and be hit crit. I'm gonna burn this. All right, can you make me reroll two since you're burning it, and I'm a bigger ship than you. Both of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, same but, thing. yeah, same thing, but no crit actually. That's actually to so be. How many? So you take two face down, or you can bring your redirect to take one face down because you have one shield left, I think, on the, the rear. Yeah, so I'll burn that one. Yep, yeah, so burning this to take just one face down. Two health remaining on number two. All right, now we have, uh, we'll need number one's defense tokens. This guy I think is fresh. I don't think he said shot at. Oh, I did shoot at him last time, right. His aft shields are down. Okay, so this is burnt. What is this? That's for number two, that's what he has remaining. So four red, two blue. Into the side. 
number one. I'm not Kate Kinnon Sholand yet. Actually, I kind of think I like that if I stop everything. I'll go internal. Yep, so three damage onto your side. <clears throat> That's from number one. Number one, yep. Into the side? Yep. So this is about zero. Yep, and it'll be one face up, one face down. One face up, and then one face down. Number one. Yep. Okay, so this is a face up. Virtual damage. So I do one face down karma, so I've got an extra one. Yeah, then you just flip that structure over after it's activated. Alright, so I'm moving at speed 2 still, with no way to slow down, but that is okay. This is a Starhawk, it does not mind. It's flying with reckless abandon into things. Although I don't think I am going to ram. Right up there, nope. I'm going to land on these two guys, so... Just doing a little side jank here. Like so. And you get to place Shara and this Y Wing. Yeah, just, just put him up there. Yeah, just put him. Yeah, put him right there. So on the back. Which yeah. one do you want to be which? Uh, Shara over there. Shara over here? Okay. Sounds good. I still have three activations on it. Yep, you still got three, and I still have Bright Hope. Engineering. Okay. I am going to. How many shields am I down? You're down back. two shields. So I'll use my. Is it three engineering? Actually, you're down three shields. Three engineering. Yeah. Yeah, so you can raise one and move one. And I'll move this one on the back. Here. That side? No, that's not gonna because I need something to rotate to. Yeah, I'll just yeah, I'll just raise one shield. <clears throat> okay. Then doing front to front, I'm guessing. Um, this doesn't matter. Front to front. Yep, front to front. Is there a blue? Do I get a blue with that? Yep. Also? Two right, red and a blue. Right. Yeah, that is short range. Um, I'll crack and turn this into a crit. Um, yeah. And I'll stop your blue, no, yeah, I'll stop your blue, or your pure green, uh, whatever, uh, brace. Snow green brace. Okay. Well, I will spend... Still got Manificent coming in. And him. Yeah, I don't know if the finance is on for this world, but we'll survive as long as I can. I will spend my redirect, redirect to my last remaining shield on my back with advanced projectors, and burn my contain to take one face down. Yep, the finance not looking good. Um, only five health remaining, and shields are down. Right, the stuff are being spent. Abilities other than adding tokens. If you want, well, if you want, that's gonna ram me actually. Do you want to ram me? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So just do a, like a straight one or one turn or whatever, depending on. Where you just do a little slide there. Support ship. Yep. Do bright hope. It is a squadron command. I'm gonna activate this A wing, and I am sending it over here to number two just to throw a shot at it. I'm not going to kill it, so I need to be able to do two damage and I'm not a bomber, but I can just try to get it down to one. I'll actually just throw this here. Real quick, uh, no damage. And then Bright Hope moving. Still at speed two. Stay along for the ride with Starhawk. Yeah, this is our number one. And oh, could heal the uh, damage, or you could raise the shield and move the shield. Which one would be the better idea? If you just get through, you're just gonna 
I think it matters right now killing the damage, does it? Yes, tough call. I mean, I need. I don't know if I'm gonna. Oh, so number one. Yeah, because I can. So I'm gonna raise the shield. I can't. Uh, yeah, we'll just we'll say that your side shield is up to one. When when you move him, we'll get the shield fixed. So his shot, side shield goes up to one. And you have one point left, so you can move a shield. Move to move. You can like move one from the front to the back if you want to put yeah, a shield on the back. Yeah. Yeah, I can get it. <laughs> okay, so side to back. <laughs> All right, so I'm pretty sure you're obviously gonna be taking a front to side shot here. Yeah. Do. Yeah, because he could take a. I don't know if it'd be worth him shooting that, but yeah. he could actually do a flak out the back and try to kill this A wing on two health. Oh, Clients is too. still taking a pound. I'll say this: MC80s can take a hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just, uh, all this firepower and it's still standing. Almost dead though. Might even get it with this one. I'm gonna reroute that one since it jumped out. All right, and then you get to add an accuracy because of your. That. Uh, hey, these uh, quad turbo laser cannons are paying off. Uh, okay, so uh, so now you have two accuracies, and now you can uh, crack in and intensify. Um, okay, so where's the intensify oh. firepower coming from? Because you spent oh, yeah, yeah, you spent yeah, intensify yeah. for this round. Totally forgot. Okay, so, so actually, before you do that, uh -huh. let's go. Remember, you have a token. Oh, I do. Did you disperse tokens to everybody? Or was I didn't. No, I didn't. I already think I already spent it. Oh yeah, and I think one wasn't in range. That's right. Okay, so I'll. Um, okay, so Kraken. Yep. Do a damage. And then intensify firepower. Or I probably want to do a, a crit, probably, because he can go to a crit. And then intensify has to go to just a hit. If you want to not have two accuracies, because two accuracies could be useful, depending. Uh, yeah, I'll do two accuracies. <clears throat> so I'll take this one. Sorry. And then just put right there two accuracies, three damage. Yep, but I'm sure you still want to do the Kraken yeah. crit. Yep. All right, so, and where do you want to stop? I'm guessing both my braces? Yeah. Alright, now this is what I'm going to do with Kirsta, because I keep forgetting Kirsta can do this. Even right. if she's locked down, I can discard it to get the effect. Okay. So I'm going to brace down to two, but I can't stop the crit, so I'm taking the first one face up. So two damage, first one face up. Alright, let's see what my crit is. So we have projector misaligned. I have no shields left, so that's actually not a bad thing. And then another face down. I have two health. So we made Yep, and do that little inside turn and not ram. You're still going to get hit by Munificent, but it won't kill you. As opposed to if you hit me and then got rammed by Munificent. I'll just, is it locked? Not quite. I'll just, we can just slide it over. And then... Four Munificent. Uh, I don't think you've been hit yet. So you can take I a took a, took a damage. Oh, that's right, because ramming. ramming. Yes, yeah, so you can but just do it. Ram again. <laughs> um... Can I shoot my own shield? <laughs> 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 well, I mean, that is something the separatists would do, I think. Because, uh, actually, I'm not doing it. I don't want to shoot back here. But, um, I don't think you, I don't think it should be that way. I don't think, you haven't taken any shots from me. Okay, so we'll just repair this. And I have one left, so it doesn't matter. Oh, no, I take it back. I did. I forgot. I saboed. Yeah. I forgot the salvo. One. Yeah, so that shield is down. And then, so this is gone. Yeah. All right. And then I will rotate over here. To the back? Here. Well, you have some options with shooting. You definitely have an obstructed. I forgot to, I forgot to flak. Oh, go ahead and roll that right now. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, one. one hit. You no know, way to reroll anything. Uh-uh. Yeah, so this A wing goes. Uh, we're pretty even right now. He's about to go ahead in points because this, my big uh, space pickle here, is about to uh, drop. And that'll put him ahead in points. But I still have this big Starhawk that's going to be bullying around the board. So right now it's pretty even as we are set up here. So you definitely got a medium range into the Defiance. It's going to be obstructed. Or you could do a side shot first. But this, if you do a side shot here, then and you'll probably kill me with that, then you won't have a front shot. So you could do like the front shot first, obstructed. If that kills me, then you could have a side shot to flak or shoot the Starhawk. Yeah, I'll shoot so, out the front, so I'll take yeah. out one blue. I only have two health left. There's not much that needs to happen for it to go down. Okay, so. Even more than that, so you can crack him. Crack him this, uh, I think that'll do it because then, even if I brace, I brace to two, I take two damage, and I am dead. So, did you want to flak out the side or do you want to shoot the Starhawk out the side? 
Let's see if it's throwing out. Okay. We're going to tell you what two. And I've got a red. What's my one red? I can get through. If you get a double on the A wing, kill it. I'm going to shoot. The shoot the star hop? Yeah. Okay. Might as well start trying to bring that down. Yeah, the A wing actually had three health left. I forgot it wasn't my two health remaining A wing. It's Shara that has two health remaining. Alright, side to front and the star hop. Oh, crap. I'm going to reroll that. <clears throat> oh, this doesn't count. <laughs> Let's go ahead and. Oh, right, because there's no blue dice. Okay, so then, um. And then Kraken, and Kraken. intensify. So we'll crack into that, and then intensify that. Okay, I'll brace to two, and I will redirect to my um, port side, and then I will salvo. So that'll be magnificent. And we are at close range, so I get two red and a black. And I will. Sure. All right. So just one damage right, on the so ship. Yep, I'm taking my damage here. And the magnificent and number one hard cell both ram and take a face down. All right. Coming up to squadron phase. I have no more squads to move, and no exegors are in range to do any attacks. There they are. I'm just barely out with this guy. And it'll just be. I'm probably moving his vultures, and but there won't be any attacks with that happening, so I'll just go over the recap of that at the start of round four. Start of round four. Krista A. Gates and the Defiance have gone down, but Starhawk still looms large. Can Kraken and the Separatists drop this... Rebel battleship. As you can see, several Vulture droids have moved forward, have now engaging this lone A wing. Both the debris fields that had the X course on them, I moved them like so. And then another one popped out here. And I kind of figured this A wing over here is dead. So I just popped an X course out just to maybe do some chomping on some Vulture droids during the squadron phase. I'm going to do the question for this week's video, or not this week's video, this video. And this, I think this will probably be the last video, <coughs> thinking about my release schedule, that will be for the March giveaway. Um, based on my editing and everything. So this will be the last video I release that will have a question for March for the $50 store credit at Animal Taylor Ship Shop. And then continuing with the theme that I've done over the past two, I started with what race would you like to be and what faction. Well, kind of continuing with the RPG theme, what job, or in RPG terms, what class? What kind of person would you like to play? Or be, not play, but be if you lived in the Star Wars universe. And for me, it would be a Jedi. I, I definitely, um, even though I play Imperials, I like the Jedi, which is why kind of the Republic is interesting me for the Clone Wars ships. And I would actually want to be a Jedi during the Old Republic. I really like the Old Republic storyline. So what class or what job would you like to have if you lived in the Star Wars universe? Answer in the comments below. And make sure to check out my other videos before April 1st and answer there so you can be entered in for the March giveaway. And I'll be announcing the winner on Squadron April cell. 1st. I have a squadron command. First, I will use the last munitions. Send those Start up. distributing those. Yeah, I forgot to say that. I don't think it was on camera, but he did use a nav to, to refresh that. So now he can send those off to... Other ships. Okay. Yeah, you've got yeah, you've got every, your entire fleet. Okay. Yeah. One will go in the and the other one will go to number two. Right. And then uh, we'll do our squadron. Move these two vultures into engagement range. Attacking this A wing over here. Okay, anyway, on two health. So check your arc here. Yeah, no shot for that hard self, because he does have a side shot, but it's obstructed on only one dice, so just some squadron play here, going after my Alright, first Vulture Droid. That's all you needed. And then I will counter back. And Torn Far. So one damage on the Vulture that attacked me. 
And then you can actually move that other vulture somewhere else if you want, since you killed one just one. Or you can take a pot to the Or you can actually take a pot out of the store up. Yeah, you can do that, sure. Alright, so one more. I'm trying to pick up the blue one. Is it Tim? Alright, into the front. Pot shot into the star pot. Now just taking on the shield. Shield's down to five. Coming at two. Take two damage. Yep, actually, you're gonna take three because landing on the space worm as well. So first you take two damage you assigned somewhere from the debris field. One. Okay, and then you take one damage, which you can also you can sign to a different spot because there are two different damage profiles hitting. And then zero. Okay. All right, going with my Starhawk. It is an engineering, and I will be using my token I have on here to get six. We'll just raise three shields, or we raise one on each side and one on the front. And for shots, we are going to be taking. What do I have here? I don't quite have because it's cardboard to cardboard, guys, not plastic to plastic. So this is going to be long range shots, side to side, into number two, front to rear on number one. All right, my shot in number two. I only get two reds. This is long range, just barely out of medium. Be hit crit. And I think that's not going to make a difference, so I am going to make Turbo Life's Charge maybe get a double. Oh, this is double crit. So brace, so first one face up. On number two. Number two. Yeah, you have two health left there. Yeah, so not dead, that's the important part. Alright, now for the front to rear into number one. Four red, two blue, two black. And then that's two one damage. Yeah. Well, two because you have a shield there. That is definitely more than enough. Number one goes down. And I'm not even going to try to stop ramming you, so I'm just going to ram right into Manificent so we both take one face down. So, just to show you guys to make sure that I don't want to disperse these vultures, so um, I'll do move like this so that I would actually turn here, land here, hit, and then have to go actually back to the zero because I don't want to mess up. How the vultures are set up here. The activator or not. <laughs> um, oh, I might not be able to kill him now. Yeah, because if you heal a damage, yeah, heal a damage. Even if I send Shara over now, um, since he's not a bomber, the best I can do is get one. Do I have him double work? No, I don't have him double work. All right, so I'll shoot with the uh, I'll shoot the A wing first, slash with him, and then yeah. take one pot shot. Take a pot shot. Start right, on the A wing. Sounds good. One damage, and then uh, before you take this shot, are you sure you want to do that? Because I do have salvo. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking about that. I want to just remind you that Starhawk does have salvo. Two reds. Okay. And you can actually inside turn it like that if you want as well. So. If I can navigate next turn, I, would I, I'll probably be able to. Yeah, if you nav next turn, you could slow down to two and then do a, a turn not to estimate it. I mean, the token is uh, <laughs> my little. Squadron. Alright, Bright Hope is a squadron command. Can only grab Shara. Now here's my dilemma. Since he healed that damage, I don't know if it's worth sending Shara over there because then cause I don't think I can get. I don't want to waste her like that because I am not bomber. So I'm going to be sending Shara actually into this scrum because she likes being in scrums. I'm going to send her over here, like so. Make sure you guys can. Okay, that's kind of blocked. Let's come over to this side. Do an attack on some vultures, but I'm making sure to keep her outside of the range of the Exogorth. Excuse me. Well, the part of me almost wants to get her into the Exogorth so that I'm locking. I want to make sure I'm locking everybody down so that you can't move until you kill Shara. I'm trying to do some fancy flying to make sure that the Exogorth chumps on these vultures. So I don't have to be that close. Alright, 
right, so I am locking down all these vaults except this guy because he's in the asteroid belt, but I am out of range of the worm. And I am going to go ahead and attack this orange guy here that has not activated yet. And I'm just going to throw that here real quick on the screen. For one damage, uh, torn far. Yep, just one damage on that vulture droid. One is dead, right? Yeah. One. Okay. So this vulture droid is down to two. two. Yep. And still flying at a respectable speed two. I'm not sure if I can avoid doing my own damage on myself from running into stuff. Quick. Well, if I do that, I guess it's like, yeah, we'll do that. And actually, do avoid fairly in the asteroid field. Or, alright, we have Munificent with the Navigate. And so we want to do a front or side to front. Alrighty, we have got side to front. Good shot. Uh, yep. yep, and I don't think you can crack him, even if you wanted to, because I don't mm -hmm. think yeah, yep, I mean, out of range. So I will brace to the standard brace, redirect and salvo. And I'll be re redirecting to my starboard side, all of it. So two red and a black for the salvo. I'll just leave it. Um, you got four damage. So brace. Two. And probably redirect it. Yep. Yep. So yep. Now spin my scatter. I forgot. I let him get. I got in his front arc, so he was able to flag me. So he got rolled a double, and I will just spin my scatter to avoid that. All right, and then moving speed two. Magnificent. It might. You're a medium sized ship. I don't know if you can get your back out of my front, but it'll be a close. You are going to take two damage from that debris field. You can take it on shields. Staying on the starboard. Wait, did I have four here? Yeah, you should be. Uh, no, because no, you moved it. Two. You moved shields. Yeah. Yeah, I think you got out of my front. Yeah, got out of my front art. All right, so we're going to do the squadron phase. Got all these orange Volta droids to go. Before they can go, they are going to be getting chomped at by the Exogorf. And then Shara is sitting in that bunch as well. That the uh, Vulture that's actually in the asteroid belt. And Exogorfs do not take obstruction when attacking uh, into uh, an obstacle that uh, they are attached to. So the Vulture that is in the asteroid belt. Takes one. Vulture right next to him. Takes three. That vulture has become a meal. Um, we're just going uh, left to right. We're losing on the screen. Then the next vulture that was next to him takes three. Wow. Okay, wait, it's this one? Yep. And the uh, vulture, the orange one that has two health left that Shara attacked, takes one. And then let me double check to see if this one is actually in range. He is. Last vulture right in front of the Starhawk takes one. And now you can activate, you have two vultures remaining that can be activated. You have the one that's engaged with Shara and the one that's in the asteroid belt. Did you want to attack Shara with the one that's engaged with her? Make me burn my scatter. Okay, vulture attacking Shara. Shara has two health left. This vulture has one. Uh, do I want to go down to one? And I will burn the brace. Not burn it, but spin the brace. I'm down to one on Shara. That might be a mistake. Um, and then we will counter back. And that vulture droid goes down. 
Then the other vulture will be moving. It doesn't have any shots like for bombing or anything because it's obstructed. So I will move that and I'll show you where it goes at the start of round five. Okay, start of round five. This is where the escorts have gone and this one at the top you see here is barely not overlapping those shield dials. And this debris field right here is like this. So that was what the export was attached to before. And then this asteroid field is down. You can see where ultra droids have moved. So it's around Shara. And this lone A-wing, I forgot I need to move him. He moved over here to maybe he can get lucky to do some intercepts, just pot shots at number two that is escaping the battlefield. I don't know if I can get any more kills just because uh, Starhawk is now out of position basically. Um, slow moving, slow turning, and Robbie can just run away. And with, with, he got with Defiance, I think he might get this on points. But I have all the objective tokens, it's going to be tight. This is going to come down to the wire. Do I want to get rid of the damage or do I want to keep a shield? I've got a shield. Yeah, I'll get rid of the damage. Okay. Move in scoop three. Yep, and no shot because it is obstructed and only one dice going out here. Alright, and they're going to scoop three or two? two. They're going to scoop two with the transport. Next round. Does that work? Yep. Yeah, and you should be fine for the last round. Just a slight turn or whatever before we're going off the board. Or even just nab and just slow down to one. All right, doing the Starhawk. It is an engineering. Getting four. I'm just going to uh, raise two shields on my starboard. And then I'm going to have a side to side. It's the munificent. The munificent. Um, well, actually, first I'm going to do a rear to side on number two. And if that kills it, I'll be doing a side to side of munificent. If it doesn't, I'll be doing a side to side into number two, just to try to get that hard shell down before it can escape. Yep. Alright, starting rear to side. Only two health left and only a brace. No shields there. Getting two red dice. That. Alright, link to relation tower is this. Still no double, so one crit face up. Please be structural. Structured engine. It's not structural. Yeah. Oh, if you're going one or greater? Oh, well then, yeah, you're just gonna. Well, it says you suffer a damage, right? After you get six feet of maneuver. You suffer a damage? Yeah, so I'll just run. You've got, a, you've got a shield to suffer it on. Oh, okay. So I do have to attack you. So I'm gonna do my side then to, to rear, or side to side. Going at the hard cell, not attacking the munificent. I gotta make sure you go down. Just need one damage, and there it is. I saved the Munificent I'm Sacrifice. I'm as far as I can, which is not much. It's just like a Star Destroyer. I'm without Nads. So, kind of... I think the Munificent will survive, because I just don't have the firepower now to drop it. I just need to see if I can't get any more plank damage done to try and... Uh, Score points. This is going to be tight coming into the end here. So we got four points. So I got four. I can take away two shields with a lot of timber. I get another four, so that'd be eight. Maybe you could get eight. You could actually drop the shields on this guy because he's not in danger anymore. Okay, so I'm going to use a lot of timber, but is that, what is it, one to thirty? Or no, one to five? Yeah, but you can actually only grab one because it has to be from one location on. So I'll take, that will give me two, plus that six. That'll give you six. So I'll use that six to get rid of both your damage cards. All damage cards. Yep. Nicely done. And then, you know, I set up a nice double arc. You can do a rear and side right into my side. Or you could try to flat Shara instead. She's on one health, does have a scatter. And yeah, that should be able to scatter both times. I'm going to go with it. Uh, uh, so side to. Now I don't think I'm gonna, I can kill you even next turn, but just keep in mind I do have salvo. So even if, if you attack me twice, I could potentially salvo twice at you. I don't know if it's worth it because I don't think you're gonna kill the Starhawk no, anyway. So it might be worth it not risking the salvo back 
so combining with my firepower. I, I don't even know if it's odds with two Savos and one shot next turn I can even take you out. But just trying to... Yeah. Savo is an interesting mechanic, especially when you have smaller ships. Yeah. And shooting at a ship that you know you can't kill. It's like, is it even worth it? I'm not going to take... Uh, it looks like you might take... Um, you're definitely gonna, I think you're going to take both Debris and Space Worm. Mm. That would be angle like so, and a little bit out because it wasn't quite in. So yeah, so you just take the and you're hitting the space room, so you take two damage first, then you take one damage. You're going to assign those to shields. Two damage, and then... And then one damage. Is there any... Yeah, I'll take it all there, too. Okay. Alright, got Bright Hope. It is a squadron. I'm going to activate Shara, see if she can't drop these vultures. Um, so... We are going to go ahead and attack this vulture here, I think. Yeah. And I want to make sure I can kill it, so if I'll flack if I need to, I'll attack this vulture here. I'm just going to do it right here, not go to the dice tower. Uh, two health, so that vulture goes down. Mm -hmm. Two health, two damage. And then no flacking, because this one's out of range, but that is okay. And Shard does not have grit, so she cannot move. I can't save her yet. Hopefully her scatter works. And we are actually in the squad fight, I'll just leave it here. You want, we'll just do it here, without moving. Something that, unless you don't want the vulture to attack, you want, and uh, not get her counter back. I just want to keep her locked down. Keep her locked down, yep, all right. And then my A-wing, lone A-wing over here. I don't know if there's any chance to even kill that with A-wing support, so I'm actually just going to, this A-wing's just gonna fly away. And I also, just doing things out of order, because Near the end, forgot to actually move the bright hook. <laughs> Just uh, keep turning and get right into formation with the Starhawk. Uh, I think you still won because you took out, because they're all there, about 50 60 from you. Yes, uh, th I did realize that last time we played with this hard cells arc, yeah. more expensive than I was expecting. So. Unless you got the tokens. Yep. Okay, we got the start of round six. This might actually just be like a quick summary round. I've never done something like this really, but because there's not much else that's gonna actually happen, the main thing is gonna be like points right here. So I guess I'll ask you, Robbie, did you do any squadron commands with either of these two to activate no, the- that's just a, uh, so that was support, <coughs> was a navigate. Yep, and, and just to slow down and stay on the board. One. So we'll just go speed one. Oh yeah, speed one, you were at speed two, yeah. So just so speed we'll one. Slower, speed one, we'll just go. Yep, and you're fine, and the Magnificent. Same thing. Even though I know my Starhawk would go next, but I'm not... Well, I mean, you can go ahead, I mean, if there's a shot... No, 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 I'm not, it's not gonna be enough to kill you. Okay, so, so uh, yeah. he's going with speed two, so yep. let's go. Blue. Yep, and then I'll just do Bright Hope. Bright Hope was a squadron, and activating Shara, see if I can kill that Vulture squad there. We'll do it right here. Um, one, Torn Far, only one. Oh, you had two shots. Uh, two hits. Uh, I thought you had two hits. Uh, never mind, I must have been No, yeah, it was a... So only one, and then my Starhawk will do a flak. It was an engineering on the Starhawk, just keep healing. Alright, so that Vulture does go down. It actually would have gone down to the flak first before Shara went. Yeah, that's just some quick stuff, just for points. We're going to tally it up. Like Robbie was saying, uh, the hard cells are more expensive than what you would expect. And I do have the victory tokens, but I think it's going to be pretty close. So we'll tally it up and we'll be back at the post-game interview. Okay, so tallied up all the points, and it came out to the Rebellion at 310 for Cursed Agate. And for Kraken and the Separatists, they had 178 points. And I uh, just want to give another thanks out to Maxwell Silver for submitting a list. And just a reminder for everyone, feel free to submit lists. Send them to my email at downsize at gmail.com. Go to my Facebook, send me a private message. Or just leave it in the comments of my uh, any video. You can leave it in any video. But if you want to get credit for the uh, March giveaway, go and leave it in my announcement video about 
um, subscriber submitted list. But any video, you can submit a list and I'll put it on the spreadsheet, put your name down and try to feature it in a future battle report. And uh, I will say this um, submitted list was a pretty nasty one. <laughs> this is a tough list. And as Robbie was saying off camera just now, it's hard to counter this, like what to focus on. So we would accept for this list right now. Yeah, it's because they're they're limited in what they have. Right? Yeah, there's just uh, ships just aren't uh, there yet because they can uh, afford. I mean, it, I'm sure it can be done. You know, I don't know. Um, but I was thinking of that. It's gonna. Be, it's really because once you've got to focus on one ship. Can't focus on the Starhawk. It's too. It's just too. It's just too beefy. There's no way. I'd still probably by round five or six, they'll be plugging away. If nothing, even that's even accounting if nothing died. Right. <clears throat> that's why I focused on the Defiance because I knew it was by far the weaker of the two to take apart, and it worked. But by the time the Defiance was gone, it was I was already having to kind of get everybody kind of regrouped and turned back around and by then the uh, Starhawk had already flown past us so it was already well over um, and the Munificent wasn't enough uh, on its own so it was yeah just a big beefy early list I, I don't think I, I don't think right now in, in the uh, Separatist current state there's no there's not enough firepower to take on this kind of list uh, plus you you picked the objectives perfectly. There was, I was done. The A-Wings got the objectives, then hid. And all I could do is just kind of flounder around and those points were already gone before the game even started. Yeah, it was one of those, when I saw how it was set up, um, I was surprised at, because usually games that have objectives, it's for ships have to pick them up. Mm -hmm. When I saw that mm -hmm. squadrons can do it, I was just thinking and Maxwell, you might have act. This might be why you put it in the list because you're just planning for this. Is that you can just let the A wings at the start, just turn one, just rush out with their speed five and just grab objectives and, and just then you don't have to worry about going for objectives for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. And it paid off. I mean, that was 75 points of my 310. And without those objectives, or let's say we evened up on it, it becomes a much closer game. Mm -hmm. And then you think one more help, one hard cell surviving at 65 points, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, yeah. we're, we're actually at a wire there. Mm -hmm. Just a few points as opposed to this larger spread. And yeah, you, yeah. you actually had a hard cell that it almost didn't die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, it took yeah. me two long range pot shots from the Starhawk, just two dice both times, and I almost didn't get it. Yeah, <laughs> that one yeah. I was running away. Yeah, the, so, um, it, um, uh, I'd say I say that I, this list can't be beat. That's not that's not true. I think the the list was difficult, but then you put the objective on top of it. It was yeah. impossible because I brought this fleet strictly to bring as much firepower to bear as I could, and the objective was lost from the beginning. And yeah, if this had been a different objective, probably I'm not saying it's not winnable, but. This is definitely... It's, it's, it's a hard list to yeah. fight against. It's a yes. very hard list to fight against. Yes, I can. Especially when this thing, when the pickle, this thing mm -hmm. actually <laughs> survives for as long as it did. That absorbed turn, so much damage. Was it turn three? It, it was, was a turn four. four. Start of turn four. Yeah, and it was... I and, started, it, and it took, I think, two even... Maybe even... I think it took two ships. Mm -hmm. I, think it was, I think it was turn four, if I'm thinking right, is when it went down. Yeah, because it did, uh, and, and I started working on it turn two, or is it three? You even turn turn two, you started working on it. Yeah, so, yeah, so turn two, I, I was getting the full brunt for two turns, maybe even two and a quarter turns yeah. to, to drop that, and which I just, I mean, this goes to show the toughness of an MC-80. Take four, five, five ships. Or no, yeah, five ships were all yeah. focusing on it and was able to, yeah. and, uh, I would say the, the Kraken shenanigans are kind of fun. I yeah. think those were interesting. Especially that round three when you combine it with Intensify Firepower, because with Kraken and Intensify, you can actually then just turn two dice to a facing you want mm -hmm. and just get the dice you need. And the combo with the quad uh, cannons, you know, with Kraken actually works because you, you can turn to an accuracy, gain the dice, mm -hmm. the accuracy, and then just flip that to a. Yeah. Um, 
And if actually, if you were running Navigate so you can nab it around, but if you were running Concentrate Fires, that'd even be an additional yeah. dice. Yeah. So you could actually really power up these hard cells. Yeah, I didn't think about um, that. So we're going to have to four red with the... Yeah, four red with Concentrate yeah. Fire, and then you actually want Kraken to get another accuracy. accuracy. So that's five, yeah. <laughs> and then Intensify, you can turn that to a hit. Yeah, and so it's just... <laughs> Yeah. It's, uh, you could really power those up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they're called hard cells. Yep. Keep putting power in them. Um, yeah, I thought it, I thought it was cool. I, I like that that shenanigans with the dice. Um, but this mission, this list, there was there was no coming. I think the star fight was just this is too much. It's just it is just like I said, it's a brick. You may as well just throw a brick in the middle. <laughs> you may as well throw a brick in the middle of the <laughs> of the board. I know. Yeah. I saw some people yeah. <laughs> when the Starhawk came out. Like oh, I don't think this is gonna be that great. I saw a lot of people saying that. I was like, well, here we are, and it does not move. It's going to stay where it stays put. Yeah, and, and it takes it takes an entire fleet worth of firepower to bring one down. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, it took. Even in an 800 point game, my battle, my Escape from Hoth game I played with Rob and Albert, he had two Starhawks and I had three Star Destroyers, ISD 2s. Mm -hmm. It took three ISD 2s shooting one to drop <laughs> it in a turn and a half. <laughs> yeah. With bombers, I had a bunch of squads with bombers. Yeah. So it took two, uh, a turn and a half with three ISD 2s and a whole bunch of bombers with TIE bombers and TIE defenders mm -hmm. hitting it to drop one yeah. Starhawk. <laughs> yeah, <there. laughs> It can soak so much damage. It's that also the um, the uh, salvo makes it even worse because you don't want to shoot at it. Uh, <laughs> it's like I mean, what's the point of shooting at it? Yeah, your little. <laughs> well, I mean, even through your like little ships, yeah. your more support ships, there's no reason to even bother sometimes yeah. shooting at it. So it's just yeah, it's just nasty. Um, I yeah, uh, it was a good game, and uh, I thought it was interesting. Like I said, the still waiting for the separatists to get. The brick, yes, we we are really going to be excited. Uh, be, be on the lookout. We're going to be doing a lot of Clone Wars uh, bat reps featuring the new ships once those drop. We just need to wait for Robbie to get his and yeah. for other Rob to get his as well. So yeah, but the recusant, the recusant, and the invisible hand. I'm really excited yeah. to see uh, how because of these hard cells, these are. Once again, they're good artillery pieces. You can have them just kind of snuck somewhere off by their own. If you don't watch out for them, they're going to start, you know, three red dots coming out the front. Uh, that's still, that's a fantastic support ship. Yep. So, yeah, exactly. Um, and with uh, Kraken and quad lasers, you turn those reds, they all of a sudden become really re reliable as opposed mm -hmm. to shaky. So, yeah, and then uh, the intensify firepower, if they get a ship that has fleet commands. Uh, I don't know if any ships... Yeah, I, th I can't remember in the previews if the... I think the Providence might have a variant that has a fleet command mm -hmm. upgrade slot. I have to go back and look at the previews. I can't remember. But uh, I hope so. I mean, every faction needs to have yeah. at least one ship yeah, that you can have a dedicated fleet command user. Yeah. So you can actually use the tokens to use fleet commands every turn. Mm -hmm. And once you get that, intensified firepower with Separatists is... Oh, yeah, yeah. ...insane. Because I was thinking that you put these hard cells with a, a recusant, uh, you know, lurching forward or moving forward uh, towards the defiance, and all of a sudden, you kind of got your one-two punch there, knock that out, turn around, and then take on the start. But yeah, uh, uh, I enjoy. I'm I'm enjoying all the fleets. I'm liking all the fleets a lot. Yeah, so, so definitely looking forward to. Uh, Hopefully there's no delays, and hopefully in about maybe three weeks you'll start seeing some bat reps with the new stuff. And don't forget, this is, uh, I'm pretty, well, almost 99% sure, confident this will be the last video in March that I release before the winner is announced. So don't forget to get all your question answers to the questions in. And for this video, what uh, profession slash class RPG terms that you would want to be if you existed in the Star Wars universe, post those in the comments below. And also... Send in your fleet submissions. I want to try to run fleets that you guys send in. Help me expand my horizons and do things that I would never even try out. And also so I can give you guys shout outs in the videos as well. So until next time, take it easy.